Welcome back everyone, this will be my brand new House of the Dragon Game of Thrones trailer video. There's the opening scene of the trailer is Rhaenyra walking into the Iron Throne room and looking at a version of Daemon sitting on the Iron Throne. I used it for my thumbnail for another trailer video the other day. Now this is obviously a much younger version of the Rhaenyra character before she's been married to Daemon or remarried to him. Throughout the main timeline of the show, a couple of the big players wind up getting remarried within sort of the different groups of the Dance of the Dragons. Very spicy, as you would expect from a Game of Thrones show. Obviously one of the big ideas that they try to get through in the trailer is that Daemon Targaryen views himself as his brother's heir. So Viserys first Targaryen is the king after Jaehaerys the first and they kind of deal with that I think in episode one. I think they'll get through that pretty quickly. I've already talked about how they're doing the Great Council of 101 AC. That council voted to make Viserys the first Jaehaerys' successor. So when we're looking at young Rhaenyra here and Daemon is sitting on the Iron Throne, this is a couple years later in the timeline and Viserys' wife has died and he doesn't have a male heir. And there's this big question of succession. Obviously, this is mostly about the Dance of the Dragons, this giant Targaryen civil war. But that was actually between Rhaenyra Targaryen and Alicent and Hightower, who became the new queen later in the timeline. As opposed to people who think that they just deserve the right to sit on the Iron Throne, like bad kings versus good kings, bad queens versus good queens. Alicent Hightower, for example, is a character that gets compared a lot to Cersei, and I think that that'll come through in some of the episodes. Now, she's not exactly like Cersei. It's not meant to be a twin cest situation or anything like that. It's more about her feeling like she has the right to sit on the Iron Throne through her son, so to speak. She doesn't have designs on the Iron Throne the same way that Cersei herself literally put herself on the Iron Throne eventually. As he talks about this dream that he had, you see the footage of the tournament. That's actually of Daemon Targaryen fighting a version of Kristen Cole later in the timeline after he's gotten the Dark Sister Valyrian Blade. Kristen Cole is a member of the Kingsguard. He eventually becomes Lord Commander of the Kingsguard after Graham McTavish, who's the current version of the Lord Commander under Viserys I before he dies. So that's why you see so many scenes of him with the older version of Alicent Hightower because that's after she's been remarried to the King. The really cool detail in the trailer here is Viserys I is telling the story about putting his hand on the Iron Throne, but you see blood on the throne here. That's because it's obviously made of thousands of swords. It cuts pretty much everybody that sits on it. Within the continent of Westeros, there's this rumor that goes around the nobles that anyone who's not meant to sit on the Iron Throne, the throne will wind up eventually killing, literally. So for instance, Joffrey got cut on the Iron Throne a whole bunch. Cersei got cut a lot when she sat on the Iron Throne. Literally and metaphorically, the stabbiest throne that you will ever sit on. When he talks about all the dragons roaring as one, obviously that's meant to be a metaphor for all the Targaryens roaring at each other during the Dance of the Dragons. Like the story that he's telling young Rhaenyra is meant to be a metaphor for what will happen in the future with the Targaryens roaring at each other over the battle for the Iron Throne. Like it's not a good thing, it's meant to be a bad thing. I believe the actual dragon that we're seeing here is meant to be Meraxes, which is Rhaenyra's dragon. Most of the dragons that you see in the trailer are meant to be bigger than Daenerys' dragons. While he's telling the story, you see the dragon flying over King's Landing to the dragon pit, and it hasn't been ruined, like this is still a very intact version of the dragon pit. It was actually built by Maegor I, just a little bit earlier in the timeline. That was meant to be sort of the beginning of the end for the Targaryens, like the minute they started raising their dragons in captivity in the dragon pit is the minute that they started to slowly die off and get smaller and smaller. Also it didn't help that they had a civil war where a bunch of the dragons wound up dying in battle. We see a little bit more of the city, we see the small council talking to Viserys I about the matter of succession, this is obviously earlier in the timeline, them eventually forcing him to choose another wife. But the whole idea is that he doesn't want to choose an heir. He doesn't want to choose between his beloved daughter, who he really cares about, and his brother, who also has a claim on the Iron Throne. This is Otto Hightower. This is Alicent Hightower's father. He's obviously going to be the person who probably suggests his daughter become the next queen. He's basically Hand of the King through most of this period. This is just more footage of that tournament of Daemon Targaryen wearing his dragon armor. Remember, this is meant to look kind of like Rhaegar's armor later in the timeline. This scene of young Rhaenyra is with her first husband, Laenor Valerion. Father is actually on the small council. I believe at this part of the timeline, the sea snake on the small council is the master of ships because House Valerion is basically like the most powerful seafaring family in Westeros. They're also meant to be one of the richest families in Westeros at this time. There's a scene of Daemon Targaryen wearing the gold cloaks. He actually created the gold cloaks. He was captain of the city watch. So later in the timeline, you hear about the gold cloaks. He's literally the person that started that. This is young Rhaenyra with Harold Westerling. That's Graham McTavish's character. Like I said, Lord Commander during this period in the timeline. Looking at the other great houses, the other members of the Kingsguard swearing fealty to her because the whole idea is that you see this ceremony later where eventually Viserys I picks her as his heir, but then eventually they force him to choose another wife. And then that wife becomes Alicent Hightower. 
She's best friends with Rhaenyra when they're younger, but then obviously things deteriorate over time because all the big factions here feel like they have a stronger claim on the Iron Throne. I believe these two dragons are meant to be Maraxes and Caraxes. That's Daemon Targaryen's dragon and obviously Rhaenyra's dragon. This is Rhaenys Targaryen talking about Rhaenyra's claim to the Iron Throne being challenged. I've already done a couple videos about her in the Great Council of 101. She was the next in line for the Iron Throne after King Jaehaerys, but the realm basically voted against her and picked Viserys instead. So the same question of who the heir is going to be winds up happening later when Rhaenyra is growing up. I love the way that she says knives will come out and then like later in the timeline you actually see the older version of Alicent literally coming at Rhaenyra with the Valyrian dagger. Which they've since confirmed is meant to be the cat's paws dagger that eventually Arya will use to kill the Night King. Obviously the dagger was also used to start the War of the Five Kings too. Very important dagger. But when she's talking about knives coming out, the scene they actually put on top of this is Harold Westerling pulling his sword out and putting it on Daemon Targaryen who's approaching the Iron Throne because at this point in the timeline it's before Viserys has picked an heir and he still thinks that he is the strongest claim to the Iron Throne. This is just the scene later in the timeline of Viserys talking to Daemon about how he's chosen Rhaenyra to be his next heir but that's before he's had a brand new son, Aegon II, with Queen Alicent. There's a scene of Dragonstone, you hear a dragon growling in the background, and you have the scene of the King's Guard with Otto Hightower, Hand of the King, coming for Daemon Targaryen, who looks like he's stolen the dragon egg. The woman with him wasn't his wife, but she was an advisor and a concubine. What the scene might be is him getting another woman pregnant and trying to give that woman a dragon egg, thinking that the son would eventually be raised as another dragon rider. Like if it's gonna be my son, he's gonna be a dragon rider, he's gonna need a dragon. But the thing is, is dragon eggs were probably one of the most precious things to the Targaryen family because dragons were so precious, so dragon eggs were treated as more precious than gold. So if you were caught trying to steal a dragon egg, especially from Dragonstone, it was basically treason. This is just young Rhaenyra talking to a younger version of Kristen Cole before he's become Lord Commander. Even though there'll probably be some comparisons to Jaime Lannister, he's not meant to be a golden trash bag like Jaime Lannister is. When they get older, eventually Rhaenyra starts spending more and more of her time at Dragonstone, so that's why you see a lot of scenes of older Rhaenyra inside the map table room as they're doing a lot of battle planning. This is just another shot of her riding her dragon. All the scenes of this giant battle with the dragons later in the trailer that you see are from the same battle, and it seems like it's going to be the War of the Stepstones. That was against Essos against a force called the Triarchy. That's what it seems like these people are here. That's because part of the battle was fought in this area in the east of Westeros. Like they literally call it the Battle of the Stepstones because it took place at the Stepstones. More footage of them showing off an actual dragon egg as they're looking like they're getting ready to actually hatch it, like they're heating it up, getting ready to hatch it. This is a scene of Daemon Targaryen cuddling up with his giant red dragon, Caraxes. He's meant to be bigger than Drogon, just for example, so that's why he seems so big. This is just footage of them down inside the dragon caves inside Dra I believe this is another shot of Rhaenyra's dragon, Meraxes. She talks about inheriting the Iron Throne, you see the crown itself, this is Viserys I's crown, and each time a new king was named, sometimes the crowns would change just a little bit, like they didn't always wear the exact same crown. So like this crown, for instance, you see a lot of the sigils of the different great houses on it. When Rhaenyra is talking about Alicent blocking her way, she's talking about the Dance of the Dragon, she's talking to Daemon Targaryen, that's when they eventually wind up getting remarried later in the timeline. This is Kristen Cole fighting against a version of one-eyed Aemon Targaryen. A lot of Targaryens on the show because it is literally a civil war amongst all the Targaryens. Then the scene where you actually see Alicent pull the Valyrian dagger on older Rhaenyra seems like it's when the actual Dance of the Dragons really sets off like the Blacks and the Greens form their factions and start the actual fighting. Then this final shot, I think it's meant to be Meraxes, Rhaenyra's dragon just because of the way they position the other trailer footage where you see the dragon head right behind her. Like this is how big it's meant to be compared to her. Much, much bigger than Daenerys' dragons. I'll see you guys in the next one.